The freshly collected sheep manure has not fully decomposed or has not undergone fermentation at all. This type cannot be used directly for planting. If the fermentation process is incomplete, it will contain many grass seeds, insect eggs, and even pathogens. Using it directly may cause weeds and pests to grow in the soil, which would be counterproductive. To ensure it functions effectively in the soil, without causing negative effects, we need to allow it to fully decompose and ferment. Pour the sheet manure onto this mat. Although the mat is small, it is easier to clean than scrubbing the ground afterward. For fermentation, we need M. Bacterial culture. If you have either of these two types at home, you can use just one of them. They work the same way. Next, pour out some molasses, dilute it with water, and mix well. I am using tap water that has been left in the sun. When mixing later, we will simply pour the sugar water over the manure. You can either mix the bacterial culture directly into the sugar water, sprinkle it over the sheet manure. Prefer to sprinkle it over the manure first. It feels like it mixes more evenly this way. Sheet manure is excellent for loosening soil. After fermentation with M bacteria, it becomes rich in microorganisms, but also makes the soil looser and more fertile, enhancing its nutrient content. Additionally, it helps suppress pathogenic bacteria and harmful microorganisms, reducing soil-borne diseases for compost fermentation. The carbon to nitrogen ratio should be 25. Sheep manure is around 28, which means it can be directly fermented. By adding the fermentation agent and adjusting the moisture level, it should form a ball. But easily fall apart when pressed this is the right moisture level. Pack everything into a bag and let it ferment during fermentation. Turn the compost occasionally to ensure even and thorough decomposition. With the current weather, it usually takes around 20 days to a month. It may take longer. Have you learned how to do it?